pizza time. Everybody love pizza time. All right, hey guys, Corbin here again, and it's finally came. That's what she said. I am finally doing a The Office review, like the TV show, the US version, a thousand times better than the uh, UK. But <laughs> I freaking love this show. It's become one of my favorites. And if you have not watched it, what are you doing? Just don't be a Corbin. Go watch it. I sat there for years. So now I would see ads for it on TV. I remember I used to get ready for school in the morning, and I would see this ad where it had a bunch of uh, random people on the street singing the, like, doing the tunes of the Office theme song. And they're like, The Office, Wednesday nights, blah, 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 on TBS. And I was like, God, that show is so stupid. Freaking, that show's amazing. I love it. My friend Rizzo has been telling me and telling me to watch this uh, show for like a good close I'd say like half a year to over a year uh, now telling me to uh, watch The Office and I'm like no 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 I'm not going to and she kept showing me episodes I was like nope I'm not going to it's not a good show but I finally told her I was reading Ninja Turtles one day and Ninja Turtle comic and she was saying something about how I always read I'm like man that's a really good comic though and I said here you read these and I'll watch The Office. She still ain't read them, but I'm gonna make her read them. She ain't, she's keeping up her half the bar, the deal. But uh, Ninja Turtles, great series, read those. But The Office, definitely don't regret watching it. Freaking amazing. Um, she probably got really annoyed because I just blew up her phone with constant questions. Oh, by the way, this is definitely gonna have spoilers, so if you haven't watched it, don't watch this, I guess. You should probably just skip this and go watch The Office, and then come back and watch this. But, uh, Hilarious show. There's actually a story to it. Great story. Awesome characters. You didn't expect any of these, uh, any of these characters to, uh, like, like Meredith, Creed. Didn't expect them to ever do anything in the show, but they ended up being big parts of it. Freaking Dwight. Dwight is my boy for days. He is my favorite. He just, he's so crazy. He's always, like, talking about beats. He's a beat farmer. Ain't nobody a beat farmer. And he's, and then him and Angela, they are so perfect together. Angela's a little, a little female dog, though. And freaking, uh, Jim and Pam are too perfect. But then Karen, like, you'd like Karen. But Karen, ugh. She made me so mad. But, like, she's a nice girl and all, but she's just trying to keep Pam and Jim apart. And Roy, you hate him for so long. But then he ends up becoming this actually a really nice dude. So that was that was actually nice. It was really awkward later when Jim and Pam went to Roy's wedding. Roy's Pam's ex fiance, by the way, for people that haven't watched it. But also, again, don't be watching this if you haven't watched it. Go watch the show. There was so many times, like there were so many episodes that I had already seen because of Marissa. So they kind of spoiled it, like the wedding episode, or them uh, Pam and Jim having their kid. I already seen that episode, but uh. This is, it's really sad when Michael leaves at the end of season seven. That's really sad. And then they bring him back on the finale, which was awesome. But he just, he, he wasn't Michael. Like, he was not his crazy self. He does say this really funny thing because Pam and Jim are together and Dwight and Angela are together. And he goes, it's like seeing all your kids grow up and get married to each other. Every parent's dream. I'm like, Michael, what are you talking about? And one thing he was always doing was that's what she said. I don't know if that's where that came from or not, but freaking, I've always hated that that's what she said thing, but I freaking love it when Michael does it. Every little thing, he just, that's what she said. And there was, I think it's like season two, he says that he's done saying it. And then uh, Jim was like, oh, really? I feel like that's going to be really hard. And uh, so Michael was like, oh. He was like, hey, but you always left me, left me satisfied. And he could and finally was like, that's what she said. All right, well, no one's really, oh, oh. In the finale, when uh, Michael comes back or whatever, Dwight's like, Michael, you came. And Michael goes, that's what she said. Sorry, hilarious freaking, oh, my God. Freaking Kevin, He, I love Kevin. He's, he's so dumb but lovable and stupid and crazy. Creed's a psycho. He's insane. Like, there's a <laughs> freaking smack Meredith. I'm sorry, this is really just me talking about how much I love this show. It's, I don't really, you guys aren't really going to know what's going on. Freaking hilarious show. Andy's one of my favorites. 
I just really recommend that show. And Erin, Erin is too cute. She's a uh, freaking what's her face? I don't know what her real name is. Uh, I do know her name. I think. All right. Well, it's Kimmy Schmidt, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That's another good show I'd watch. But she's just she's a funny actress. She was also um at Twenty One Jump Street. She was the teacher that really had thoughts for uh, Channing Tatum. Uh, freaking just the characters in that. Just hilarious. The characters are so well developed. Meredith is a, she's a weirdo. Stanley's my boy though. Stanley's my boy. He is. So, did I stutter? He's funny. He's funniest. And Phyllis is probably one of the sweetest old ladies you ever gonna meet. And she's always talking about dang Bob Vance Vance Refrigeration. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen the show. Freaking, just it's a wonderful wonderful show. There's nine seasons of it. Fantastic. And on a real note, Prime Make Mother, great show. Watch it. Loved it. But I know Cody and Eric would hate me if they heard me say this, so hopefully they don't watch this video. But um The Office is way better than I Make Mother. It they both have nine seasons, so like I can equally match them up and stuff. And just oh my it is a lot better than How I Met Your Mother. Love How I Met Your Mother, but like the ending of How I Met Your Mother was like a big you know, just a, hey, screw you guys to the fans. And then, um, but the office finale, they really were like, hey, yeah, guys, we love you. Let's give this, make this a good ending. And the premiere to season seven was one of my favorites. They're lip syncing. Andy comes out the other way. He's like, no, 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 no. All right, it's just, it's fun. Maybe I'll put the clip on or something. But, um, no, 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 Okay, um, yeah, uh. The Office, good show. Watch, I binge watched that. My, I started it. I think like Thursday, the like Thursday or Wednesday of my first week of college, and finished that by the end of my second week of college. I binge watched that, got it that, and now I'm just like randomly just, uh, just uh, now I'm just watching it like randomly, just going back through, just whenever I'm bored or something or working on homework. And then I'm already back in season three. <sighs> good show. There's some things. There's uh, it makes me mad because there's like a random lady in the first episode, and then another random lady in what episode was it? It was in season two. It was right before the fire episode. I can't remember which one. Oh, the Olympics. The Olympics episode. The Office Olympics. There's another random lady that just showed up in the office, but you never see either of those two out. You see them. The one lady in the first episode never again, and you see the other lady um, in the Office Office Olympics and never see her again. I'm like what the heck? Then there's Devin, but he gets fired. But Devin, I would have hated to have him on the show because he was uh he wasn't fun or he wasn't a cool character like the rest of them. But then D Dwight hires him back later in the show. You know, I just realized why did Dwight hire him back? Because when Devin's leaving, he's like Phyllis Stanley. Uh, he lists all the characters except for Angela, Creed, Michael, and Dwight, and he says all of you meet me at a. Uh, Saint crap. What's the freaking what's the bar they always go to? It's gonna kill me. I know this. I know that alright, I gotta look it up, but it's gonna kill me when I see it. But anyways, he invited them all out to go there. But if he he obviously did not like Dwight enough to invite him, so why would Dwight hire him back, you know what I'm saying? God, that's gonna kill me once I see what the name of this is. Oh lordy. Saint Richard's, right? I'm not even there. Poor Richard's Pub, not St. Richard's Mother. Poor Richard's. Okay, Poor Richard's Pub. But, uh, good show. That's really all I got to say about it. Um, funny. It's just, the funny just kept going. The characters you got introduced to, even if they're just there for a few episodes, it was just constantly funny. Always having good characters. Ryan was a douche, but I loved him for some reason. Kelly was a psycho, and but still you love her. And Meredith is a terrible, creepy, just mother. Just no, but you love her. Creed's literally a psychopath, and he goes to jail at the end of the series, but you still love him. And like, that's just it's a and there's a. Uh, there's a, what is it, maybe it was like an Emmys or Grammys, I don't know what the different award shows are, but they had a special little clip or whatever, where they had all these different, they had like Aziz Ansari coming to work for them, they had, uh, I think it was Ashton Kutcher as their new manager or something, they just had random different famous people, you know, being on there, and uh, 
Jesse from Breaking Bad came in, and Creed was like, Jesse, my man. He goes, you got the stuff? And he, I was like, all right, Creed, I believe. But, uh, yeah, no, um, watch The Office. I will literally put a link down below to The Office on Netflix. And I want you to go watch that. Like, go. Go do I don't know what you're doing here. You should not have even have sat here these, how long, 10 minutes. And listen, to me. you should have been starting The Office 10 minutes into the first episode. With hilarious right off the bat. Pamela, pam, pam, pam. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's Jim Halpert. Halpert. <laughs> so, okay. Also, later in like season nine, you meet Clark and Pete. Clark, love him. He's funny. Pete's eh, but I also didn't. He just, I didn't really like him. And then him taking Aaron away from Andy, sort of, maybe not like him anymore, but also Andy was being a. Not a very good person, I guess we could say. But uh, yeah, Pete was not not a big fan of him. And Daryl, which was crazy. Daryl started out in the warehouse, not even the main character. He saw him every once in a while, but he became a main character. Like he got his own office on the main floor and everything. He was definitely a main character of that. Um, Oscar. Oh, Oscar and Angel. I love the relationship they end up getting. I love Oscar and Kevin's relationship also. Like they're like I don't know, good buddies, but they're, they're Angel and Oscar like best friends, even though they. Sure, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. He, Oscar even becomes the uh, the uh, godfather of Angela and Dwight's kid. But, uh, yeah, seems like that's about everybody. But uh, I hope that was everybody. Toby. Toby. <laughs> Toby was their HR guy. And Michael hated him. Because Toby was always trying to not let Michael do what Michael wanted. But in my opinion, Toby, I like Toby, he's a nice guy, but freaking Michael hated him. Like when they thought that he thought Toby was gone or whatever, and then Jim was like, no, Toby's in the back, and he went back there, and Toby wasn't there, Michael was like, oh, good joke, Jim, it's real funny, he turns around Toby's right, then he goes, no, no, God, no, please, no, 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 and he just go. oh my freaking, watch the show, people, I don't know what you're doing. Then there was a, what is her name? Nelly? Is that her name? She comes in season eight and nine, I think. Not not a big fan of her. She's just alright, I guess. Ooh, Gabe! Gabe! I hated him so much. I just hated him. I'm going to put a picture up here. And you're gonna see why I hate him. Just look at him and you hate him. But yeah, that's that's it. I'm out.